Okay, um, so like last time, this is a, a summoning video where I'm just going to pull for um, for Landy, and I'm probably going to pull for Bellion. Uh, I should pull her during her last rotation, um, just because I don't actually like have enough to pity her. So you can see up there, I only have seven grand. I kind of hoped I'd have like eight grand by now, but that's that's fine regardless. I just haven't been secret shop refreshing. Um, as you can see, I only have like I've only gotten like. 70 more from the last time we pulled on Luna's banner um, So I haven't really been pulling that much of this stuff either. I really should be secret shop refreshing, but uh, We'll see how it goes today um, I'm pulling on this banner today specifically uh, because this one is actual garbage because this artifact is Yeah, this artifact is basically Like next to useless and as much as I like Araminta and I love I have silver blade Araminta and I love silver blade Araminta um, It's just not worth pulling uh, for dupes of her. Uh, here we've got Durandal, which I think Durandal is like garbage. You know, there's a reason no warriors are using it right now. Um, but I really think it's gonna, I think they're gonna buff it. So I think pulling on, pulling for some Durandals isn't too bad. So I'm, here I am. Uh, I already have like, I think I'm one or two off max on my single Durandal I have right now. Um, so having more Durandals or just, you know, more to limit break Durandal is pretty good because I think it's going to get buffed and if anyone wants to know what I think um, or how I think it should get buffed I, th I really do think they need to take off they need to they either need to remove this health restriction um, or just or just make it um, higher so make it like 85% and then you can start boosting forward because uh, right now like at 75% like the the 16% CR boost if you have a max limit broken which nobody does because it's like not really worth um, but even if you have it at max, 16%, it's like 1% more than Ravi and A-Ravi, and they have, you know, it happens no matter what, right? Like, I guess that's like, that's kind of what makes them special, is that like, they have a Durandal that works no matter what. But, like, you even consider something like, um, what's her name? Uh, I forgot what her name was. Char Fire Charlotte, and she has that e the e exclusive equipment, which gives her 10%. Like ten percent, but full HP. Like I would like. I don't know how they like. They can balance these numbers, drop them down to like fourteen or something. But as long as they get it all the time, every time they're hit, that's better. But right now, it's just not really worth running, especially when you have things like Sacred Scythe, Draco Plate. Um, this is really, you know, if you want them to take turns, you need them to just always be stealing turns as much as possible. So I think this needs to get buffed in some way, um, or we just wait till a unit comes out that can capitalize on it. But right now, it's not like there aren't a whole lot of warriors that can like a lot of times if they get knocked down below 75 they're down to like 50 percent right and they're about to get one shot again so getting 16 percent isn't really going to help right um and if they're if they don't get this low chances are they don't stay that low because you'd rather have sigurd scythe right like you'd rather have sigurd scythe or, or just someone draco play to to uh remove that um so that's kind of the way i look at it uh but like i said i think it's gonna get a buff so that's fine um I have like three shoes. They're, I don't have her six star yet, as you could tell from like any of my videos. Um, but I think at this point, I might just save them and like max imprint like ML shoe whenever she comes out. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get in here. Let's do this first. Uh, let's do our free summon. Oh, okay. I was hoping that like if I saved it, because I, I logged in and I was about to do it, and I was like, oh, maybe I should just wait because I'm probably gonna be summoning today. Um, I was kind of hoping, like, if I saved it, then we'd um, <laughs> we'd get something crazy on camera. Uh, so fortunately, my uh, bag is full, so we can just kind of do this. Um, we don't have enough to go to pity. I probably still should be just doing ten pulls anyway. Uh, there's something new here, or I forgot if I have whatever I have checked off. Is this the artifact? Oh god, let's say. Right now, all I need is powder mainly. Um, yeah, so basically I just want more, um, landy merges. So I can't skip the four stars, so I need to go change that in the settings at some point. Um, I really don't want Landy's artifact. Like I said, I think I, I mentioned this in the video. It's not bad necessarily. Um, and you know, could always use more Aureus. It's not bad. It's not a bad artifact necessarily, but, um, it's just no one, it's not useful on anyone. So like if I can just get Landy and, and peace out before I run out of bookmarks, then I'll be fine. Um, hopefully I don't have to go, um, I don't have to go uh, buy some bookmark packs, but I might end up doing that. Not not from the store, mind you, just like the, the secret, uh, the crystal packs, whatever, the Skystone packs. 
Um, so yeah, I can't see it four stars, just kind of annoying. I think I'll have to go change that right now. Oh, come on, please be Landy. Um, I might make a video. I just don't have enough to say on the whole counter set, like 20 to 30%. I might make a video if I, if I really feel like I need to stress the point. Um, but I'll see if anyone, because no one else has made a video on it. The only person who's made a video on it is Astronox, and he just kind of like... I mean, I guess it, you know it's pretty insulting, so I'm, I guess I may as well just say it anyway. Um, that video is just a huge waste of time because like, it, it had nothing to do with why the twenty percent being thirty percent is actually a bad thing. It was just dumb because he's like, "Oh well, I wasted my time. And I didn't want to waste your guys' time." But that's not really the issue. I guess I can talk about it while we're summoning because I never have anything else to talk about. Um, the issue isn't necessarily where your time lies or whether or not like. You've wasted your time or even as a content creator because that's basically the main thing with him is he's covering his ass because as a content creator he's been telling people to, to pull for speed and like we've all been telling everyone that um i think for one even if it was 30 percent, i don't think we would have switched over because while counter set i mean take counter set now the way it's been working people have been switching units over to counter set because it's good um at 20 percent, the way it was right but they still valued speed so even if it was like higher by 10 percent, it is a 50 percent increase uh, but if it, even if it is 10% higher, like it's it's never gonna outpace speed because there's just so many units in this game that you if you if you let them take a turn, they basically won that turn, right? Um, that's why speed is so important. But I, it also kind of depends on like going forward what other units they release, right? So I don't know. It's, it's important to realize that like like speed set is never gonna be irrelevant. It's not suddenly like ignore speed set and go for counter set now that we know it's 30%. That's not. Um, that's just what's the word um i don't know it's just clickbaity basically it's just trying to get eyes on on his videos and you know i understand why i mean he, he makes videos to like survive so you know whatever kind of tactics he has to do to get people to like pay attention you know by all means but um i just not the kind of person who wants to like run around saying dumb things just to get attention um but despite all that stuff i mean astronaut still has good advice usually um but you have to kind of sift through his content because he posts so much content that he's basically just kind of like looking for ways to make money. It's the reason he has like five accounts, right? It's not like you don't gain anything from having five accounts. It's just more content. It's like, look, this account can do this and this account can do that. And then, yeah, I don't know. Um, but like I said, it's it's not, that's not the main issue. The main issue isn't that, oh, you know, we should be farming this or should be farming that because it's up back to 30 and people are still going to be farming speed and he's still going to be farming speed even though he's telling you that, oh, I might have told you to, I might have told people to farm counter or I might have farmed counter from the beginning. While it's good, mind you, um, it's still, you know, speed is still too important to just like, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to drop the whole first turn just to like do nothing. Right. Um, so that to one side, the major problem is, um, Smilegate kind of lying and being caught lying. Right. So like if it was 20% and people kept complaining up until like, you know, this week or whenever they released that information, uh, people kept complaining that counter set was already too high and it was more or less higher than the 20% they were advertising. Um, what other things in the game are that way that they're not properly advertised? Like 15% effect resistance, right? Everybody gets 15%. What are we going to, are we going to find out that's 30% someday? Are we going to find out that's 20%, right? So it's important to realize that that's the main problem here. The main problem being that like, if they lied about that percentage, of some random RNG thing, like how can we trust them on, you know, summoning rates, right? If I have to pity every time because the summoning rate is lower than advertised, right? Like that's the real problem. And I, I don't see a lot of people talking about that. So maybe I'll make a video by itself. Um, but yeah, like all these random percentage chances of things that can happen, they now call into question. Like, do we have to sit down and like call them out? when you know we're grinding something over and over again and we show them that like look this is not 15 percent this is actually higher like do we have to go do that for effect resistance do we have to do that for everything every time they do something um so i think that's that's the main problem and it, it's really weird that like you would kind of because he basically he made the counter set i don't know to, to me anyway the astronaut's video when he made the, the the problems with counter set he basically made it all about himself um you know himself and his channel and, and how it affects you know him and all that um and I, I think that that's not that's not even remotely like I, I really don't care that's not you know who cares about all that stuff um what's really important is just like how where are we going to trust smile for certain things right and i guess 
for many of you, maybe this is this is what I'm the the problem I'm pointing out isn't really a problem because you came into this game kind of knowing that you're probably going to be be lied to at some point or you know all this other stuff and you should always be skeptical and and you know I think we've all we're always skeptical but there's nothing we can do about it right like I've I have been skeptical skeptical I have been skeptical of the 15 percent on effect resistance checks since the beginning of the game since I learned that was a thing um, but I haven't really done anything because there's nothing I can do I'm not going to sit down and like. Uh, grind out and make and calculate every single time that I get 15% to make sure it's 15%. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's that's kind of my my line of thing. Like I'm not gonna go do that because Epic Seven isn't my livelihood, right? It's something I do. It's something I do for fun. And and if it's if it's wrong, certain things are wrong. Then you know that is. But it's important to realize a lot of people like there's people who spend too much good money on this game, uh, and people who like rely on this game being you know trustworthy. There's too many of those people to just be like, oh, you know. We were lying about this the whole time. Oops, we're sorry. Like, I don't know. So I, I think, like, there needs to be, there needs to be, I don't know. I guess going forward, we're just going to have to be, like, whoever called them out, because I remember, I remember somebody said, I think in his video or someone before that had said that, like, through some testing, they've brought this up to them. Um, and I guess they, you know, they're, now they're just fixing it. Um, hey, we need more, uh, we need more of uh, Aether. So I guess we're not gonna get her in um, those 600 bookmarks. So I'm gonna have to go buy a bookmark pack. Um, but that—that's basically like the bottom line is—is is where does our trust lie now because of like that whole thing that went down. So like you know, my your with the ML rates, right? We you know we've been pulling for MLs and people keep complaining about like they're only getting three stars out of the the galaxy summons. Like, can we trust those rates? Right? I don't know. Um. So that's kind of that's kind of is what it is, and we found out. Let's see what else did we find out. We found out something about. Um, so funnily enough, I'm not getting the um, the artifact, but I'm also not getting the unit. So I was saying if I was getting one or the other, I'd have the unit. Um, but we found out. I think that that, that might have already been mentioned, and here's well, let's see. If, oh, there you go. I was talking about the artifact, and here's the artifact, unless it's not. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I already have a few of these. Um, I just don't use them, and I'm not sure who would use them. So we can take a look here. Uh, at 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 max at max investment, we'll, we'll take it at at four, so six. At six percent is is like one copy at level fifteen, at plus fifteen. Uh, six percent per buff. So when it comes to be her turn, if they have if they all have a shield or they all have immunity, let's say they all have immunity. That's four. That's twenty four percent. So it's one in four chance that you're gonna get a greater attack buff. Um, if they all have two, so that's a, a immunity and a barrier. That's eight times six, is forty-eight. It's almost fifty percent chance that you get it right. So I think this this kind of like requires too much from you. Like if you if you max it out, sure maybe. Um, like if we, let let's kind of assume the best case scenario here. So we go all the way up to where it's maxed out, and it's like ten percent. Let's let's say it gets a buff or something, and just to make it easier to calculate this stuff, it's ten percent almost because it, it basically is almost ten percent. If they all have immunity on, that that's already forty percent, right? Now, if they have um, like immunity eight and a barrier each, that's another forty percent. So that's eighty percent, right? So theoretically, we're at eighty percent uh, proc chance, and that's still not a hundred. So um, it's just hard to like, it's hard to choose this over the um, the guiding light because it basically turns her into a, an S ten A with an AOE that can't be countered, uh, speed buff. And she's got her own built-in attack buff already. Um, so, like, I don't know. One of the other things with Landy is that, like, you don't really need a whole lot of damage. Now, you know, there, there's certain cases where you do need a lot of damage because you want to, like, make sure you just win that first turn or whatever. Uh, well, not first turn, but those first few turns. Um, but in RTA, you just kind of wait out until um, Frenzy stacks up a little more. You don't have to worry about having greater attack buff, right? She, as long as she survives long enough, she'll get, like... She scales insane off of Frenzy. Um, and, yeah, so... But yeah, so that, that's like I said. I might, I probably won't make a video. I mean, take what you want from this video. Uh, well, there he goes. She's here. So he didn't go all the way to pity, but um, that's, I guess it's not too bad. It was like, I guess I can go look back in the video. But um, the point being that I, I bought one pack, I think, one pack of fifty. Let's go back here. Uh, one pack of fifty bookmarks, uh, and I had like four hundred going in, so it's not too bad. 
um, we just I just wanted one uh, just to get more imprints for Landy because uh, right now she has one imprint but her attack is kind of low I want to get her to like 3k and I think with a few extra imprints she'll get there um, but yeah so there's that um, should we just summon one more uh, I kind of want to but I kind of feels kind of dumb <laughs> nah that's fine um, so I guess we'll I'll probably do the the, the politics summons later uh, just to spread out the content <laughs> let's not let's not hide it now um we want to have uh, i want to have an extra video to to put up at some point and, and uh summoning is kind of lazy content that you can just make whatever you want uh, let's just get this one just to i'm sure it's going to bother someone that i left it at 19. Uh, let's go back and now we have 20. okay there we go uh, so yeah in the next video i'll have uh politics summons we'll see how that goes hopefully we get her sooner rather than later because i really want to save up for I feel like either, so the next one's going to be a rerun, and then there's going to be one after the next one. Um, I feel like the one after the rerun might be a decent um, Angels of Light counter, um, but who knows, like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so hopefully you guys uh, have decent luck on your Landy pulls, if you're pulling for her. If you don't have her, I really, like, th there's no unit that has ever come out, I mean, not, not that has ever come out, but like, that has come out in the past few months, other than like Rem that is more worth summoning than um than landy like she's just really good like i guess for anyone who watches war Bolt's video i watch them sometimes but i'm kind of like gonna just stop watching them um because all he does is complain like i have never watched a video where he's not complaining and seeing as he's seeing as he's someone who's been in the in the service before i really felt like he would be i don't know he would just complain less but i guess that's just kind of the person he is uh, he just likes to complain because um, he has done nothing but complain on the way out of this game and then he left and he came back and he's done nothing complain but complain on his on his re-entrance so um i guess some people like that kind of content i'm not i'm not here to be like positive all the time to not complain about stuff um but i also like look at the game and then when something's broken so when i'm fighting landy a lot uh and i complain about her being broken all the time well i just kind of look at that as a challenge or, or some way to play but maybe you know i'm not a legend rta player so maybe i can't um speak i can't say anything to him um to his level or anything like that so you know there you go Oh, but yeah, so anybody who uh, watches that vid his videos, you'll know uh, just how strong she is that she would make um, basically one of the higher tier players, one of the more notable players in this game. Uh, if he cries about her like a baby, you know she's a good she's a good unit, right? So I think that uh, that's reason enough to pull, at least in my book anyway.